Access List, also known as ACLs, consist of a sequence of entries, each of which specifies whether a certain type or group of packets will be permitted or denied through the filter. CyberACL maintains your access list in a platform-independent format for you so that they can be easily sent to different device types, typically a router or firewall. CyberACL highlights entries which have no effect with a gray background color. Likewise, entries which conflict with other entries are highlighted using a darker, nearly black background. An example of a conflicting entry would be trying to permit traffic that was completely blocked by an earlier entry. You have the option to import entries from the existing access list, devices or files. You have a large selection of options when importing as well as the ability to import all lists from configuration sources containing multiple access lists. From the import page, you can also import directly from some types of devices. There is an automatic history maintained of all changes made to each access list in CyberACL. The revision history page will present you with a history of modifications to the list from most recent to least recent. If you click on the date or event columns of a change, you will be taken to a comparison of the list immediately prior and immediately after the change. Clicking the rollback will allow a, the specific list to be rolled back or restored to its state immediately prior to that change. In addition to regular access list entries, you can also add references to other lists, known as sublist. Whenever the list is sent to a device or synchronized, the actual sublist will be substituted in place of the sublist entry. The sublist may itself have sublist. CyberACL allows you to create custom defined values which can be used from within your access list to more easily manage your network access policies. These consist of networks, services, and groups. Networks are predefined combinations of network address ranges, services are combinations of ports and port ranges, and groups are combinations of device, targets, and other groups which also allow you to define an access list to be included by each group member automatically. Within CyberACL, a device represents a physical networking device such as a router or firewall. For each device, a description, internet address, and information required to access the device is maintained in the database. It is possible to preview the device specific syntax generated for an interface's access list without sending it to the device. You are able to view a textual list data that will be sent to the interface during the actual synchronization so that you can preview any changes you have made. CyberACL supports two types of reports. Deployment reports cover all synchronizations which have taken place and list reports which cover all changes made to an access list. If you utilize access list, manage any number of routers or firewalls, and find network security to be your primary concern, then CyberACL is that solution. Cyber Operations is also looking for national resellers, large or small, to promote our cutting edge security technologies. Visit us at our website or contact us today at 1-866-404-2923. Visit us at our website or contact us today